Hey guys, it's Ray. So today it's a long one. Grab your coffee, tea, water, whatever, and let's get started. So for this, I'm going to be using this butterfly cookie cutters. They came in a set. This is a set. So I'm going to be using some fondant. I am using the Wilton's one. I did a review on that one if you want to check it out. But I'm going to be coloring some fondant with orange and lemon yellow. This is so that I can have this kind of like shade of orange. This is how I color my fondant, by the way. I apply my like gel food coloring in the middle and this just work my way out. I think most people do that. I'm going to be using this electric blue and this teal by Wilton. I did a review on this one if you want to check it out. It's like from a set as well. And this is how much I'm adding of each one. Lastly, this pink one that is like from the same set. So I'm going to be storing my fondant colored in at some clean pack and just leave it in for a few hours. This is just so the color intensifies more and just gets better. I'm using this roller that came with these two rings, removing the thicker one just because I I don't want my butterflies to be super thick, rolling my fondant and just cutting my butterflies and doing the same thing in like the three colors. I'm also using this like, um, I don't know how to call this, I don't even remember the name, but this palette thing, just because I want my butterflies to set and dry with an angle, giving the illusion that they are flying sort of. And now I'm going to be decorating my butterflies by painting them. I'm going to be using my vanilla clear extract and gel food coloring. I made a few designs for the orange one. I mixed my orange tulip red using my brushes. This is a set by Wilton. First, I'm going to be painting like the top part of the wings red and then just blending the whole thing with the brush. It's actually really easy this part and pretty relaxing, I would say. You just gotta make sure to remove the excess from your brush with a napkin, just so that everything looks seamless. I'm gonna be doing the same thing for like the smaller butterflies. Then I'm gonna be using this like thin brush from the set as well, but I made it thinner. I do have a DIY showing you how to do this. I didn't do that DIY on this brush, but I did pretty much the same thing. Mixing my super black with my clear vanilla extract and first painting the middle part like this. And I did that with all my butterflies, by the way. This is how I did it in all of them. But then just working on the details of my wings. It's like a lot of detailing but it's like really easy to do if you have this brush. I really recommend it. It's really easy to work with. I made two designs by the way and you're gonna notice what it is hopefully. It's like pretty much like a gap on the bottom part and I'm gonna be filling the like edges as well with this brush. I'm doing the same thing for both sides. I'm gonna be taking my bright white food coloring, mixing it with my extract, and I'm gonna be using this dotting tool. I do have the DIY showing you how to do this. I did it myself, it's actually pretty easy to do. And I'm gonna be adding a bunch of like dots all over the place. This dots with the white, I added them in all of them. Those are supposed to be like the sparkles or the glitter that like ha my butterflies have. This is just so they look shiny and whimsical. But yeah, pretty much adding my dots all over the place wherever I felt like it needed a dot. And that's pretty much it for the orange butterflies. For my pink butterflies, I did two designs actually. The first one is like first painting the edges like this with the black gel food coloring and my extract. And then adding some dots around it, pretty much what I did with the previous one. In order to just have like different sides of dots, first go heavy handed with how much you grab that gel food coloring and then work with whatever is left from your dotting tool, if that makes sense at all. My other design that I did with the pink one, you're gonna see that in a second, but first I'm gonna be painting my blue ones using my bigger uh, Wilton brushes, working with my purple and my pink, mixing those two with my extract, and first adding a line with the purple like this, blending that and smoothing that, pretty much like we did in the, like, the first butterfly when we were blending the red one, but this time like this, smoothing everything towards the middle part of like the butterfly, and then using my other brush to just apply some pink. Now this showed up pretty much purple. I think it's because I'm working over blue, but it kind of showed a little bit and then just blending a little bit towards the middle part of the butterfly, adding the black part in the middle. When I paint over something else, I always let it dry for overnight, by the way, because otherwise it would bleed. Adding a detail in the middle like that, adding some sparkle as I did before on the four edges and then in the middle like this. Now I made another design for the blue that I mentioned before I did with the pink one. I'm going to be taking two dotting tools, the one that I've been using so far and a bigger one. I do have the DIY showing you how to do this too, but it's pretty much like a bigger dot. Mixing my black gel food color 
wearing in my white with my extract as well and i think you can use vodka as well and pretty much adding bigger dots all over the place white and black ones and then just going with the smaller dotting tool and adding smaller dots where i feel like there's an empty space i fill it with a dot and stop until you're pretty much complete with my thinner brush and add the two dots resembling the eyes this is what they look like as they are and i really like them i think they look super cute like this you can use this to decorate cupcakes cakes cookies cake pops if people still do those i don't really know it's anything else but i'm going to be decorating some cupcakes now the cupcakes that i do i don't use cupcake liners anymore even though i think they are really cute but i prefer the flavor of the cupcake like this without the liner i made a diy showing you how i do this but i'm going to be frosting this with my nordstrom's cafe cheese cream frosting it's like from their cookbook i do have the recipe is my favorite one so far feel free to pipe this i'm using my spatula for this and then adding my butterflies adding three per cupcake with the three different sizes and different designs per cupcake and yeah i really like them i think they look super cute they are so much fun to make and to look at I don't know, to me they look fun, happy, like whimsical and like dynamic and they're actually really easy to make. I do have the DIY for those cupcake stands by the way, actually really easy as well. But yeah, I love them. Hopefully I'm not too late because fall and Halloween are almost here even though it's still pretty warm and like summer around here. But I don't know, to me butterflies are really cute always, like they don't have a season. But anyways, hopefully you like them too. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and let me know down below. Check out more cupcake toppers. I have on my channel and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.